and multi-factor authentication is still by far one of the most effective tools that we have available, period. So how did these guys go about it? Well, in this one particular case, and they haven't released the particular company in detail, but what they went after was this: the hackers were looking at dormant, meaning email accounts were probably set up in a large organization for contractors and people who may have left the company. They just didn't close out the accounts or do the due diligence as far as cleaning up the dormant, cleaning up the accounts, which could have simply been, you know, not allowing somebody to log into the account. You can base in Microsoft office as an administrator you can basically you can if somebody leaves for a period of time you can just block sign in so that they you can ma maintain the records but nobody can sign into the accounts well in this case they just left them open and then to add on to it what they did was they just blanket turned on multi-factor authentication for everybody and they didn't do a proper audit of what was going on inside of office 365 now this could have easily been prevented it would be the excellent kind of could have been noticed and reported with some simple tools put inside of there to audit and maintain Office 365. So what happened was when they when Office 365 is rolled out as a blanket, what they do is the first time that it goes on, you know, it it, it will do is it'll ask you for your username and password. And then it's going to go in and ask, you know, it'll pop up a QR code and ask you to download load the Microsoft Authenticator app onto your phone. And then it'll issue you uh, credentials so that you can keep on logging back in. Well, this works when you're the real person who's logging into the account. But because they did it on mass and, and they didn't check for the dormant accounts, they started to issue out a multi-factor authentication to not to the dormant to the dormant accounts and not check who was going to authenticate with them. And again, this would have been another log issue where they could have seen, hey, why are the people nobody's using this and now we have authenticator you know authenticators going off here and we can start to see where where they're where people are logging in because microsoft really allows some real granular audit controls so in that case they had they went to town they had the authenticator did not do anything because it wasn't properly applied it wasn't a one-off fix and that's what a lot of people feel like when they look at cybersecurity, is you have one tool and you're done if it's well, if the tool's not correctly put in and you're not doing proper audits, you're going to have issues. And that's what this company did. And so they were able to get inside Microsoft Active Directory and take control of Office 365 and other accounts because some of these dormant accounts had admin permissions to add insult to injury.